now we can get started. Welcome to our December Orem Natural Resources Committee meeting. Um, let's see, I was... There we go. I get dependent on... Uh, welcome, Jason. Thank you. I'm just going to hand these out. Oh, look at that. Thank you. More stack mail. Oh, I don't have to tell my children, right? No. <laughs> How many? Have we done? That, I that's don't know. delicious. Thank you. Let's see. There's our agenda. Thank you so much. They may come. Yeah. Okay. So uh, our agenda items: approve 2020 calendar. And that was attached, right? Yep, there it is, right below. So we've moved the meeting back two Thursdays in January. It's usually the, I'm sorry, what are, what are usually the, hold up, what are we usually? Aren't we usually the so first Thursday? The first Thursday, right? but because of our neighborhood meetings, um, are the first and fourth, okay. or third um, Thursday of uh, January and February. Um, I just asked if you guys would move those and you were fine with it. And so okay. this is the um, the full calendar for next year. Um, okay. And we just need an official approval for you guys um, on the record. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so are you able to see that, Heidi? Yes. Or, okay. And um, Sarah? Yeah. Yes. Yes-ish. Maybe getting there? I'm kind of, yeah, I was trying to... Yeah, I'm trying to Fine, do too cause... much on my computer as well. So uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so the just to, for those of you who are not quite there yet, uh, January sixteenth, the third Thursday. The February is the second Thursday. March is the second oh, Thursday. Yeah. April's the first Thursday. So we go uh, back stay late for so a bit, and then we go months. back. Yeah, it looks like okay. so those three months, and then July no meeting, um, and uh, otherwise the first Thursday. Okay, so it sounds like we need a motion to approve this. I motion to approve the meeting times for next for 2020's committee meetings. I'll second that. Okay. Uh, everybody in favor? Hi. Okay. <laughs> Good. Um, do we need to do anything else there? No, that's okay. It. Just officially, this is helpful. Thank you. I will. What I need to do now is get this on my personal calendar. So that was going to be. A, is that something that, as you're putting together the agendas or the calendar, um, is that something that somebody at the city can do, like a calendar invite, or should that be the chair that does that? Um, I can send out a calendar invite, and then that the way year. it just automatically. Yeah, I can do that. That'd be great. Do you guys care if it's the entire year? Or would you rather have it a quarter or I'm whatever's easiest, I don't know. Some commissions don't mess with council if they can do that. Yeah. The whole, the whole year. I, see. Our meetings. I guess mm -hmm. for their actual meetings, maybe that's just another issue. So uh -huh. zero. I would I would be okay with whatever's easiest for you, Jenna. Okay, yeah. I really am. You can always delete it. Yep. Right, right. Yeah. Like, yep. So yep. I'll I can do that. Whatever's easiest for you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. That's very kind. Um 2020 retreat. It's mostly Quinn's baby, and Quinn is not here. Hey, Sam. Is Sorry. he planning on coming today? I have not seen an email from Quinn. He usually so emails if he going to be can be late or if he wants I to be on the phone or something. You just check, didn't see anything. Okay. okay, let's not worry about it then. He usually sends it to me too. Actually, let me check my work email because since he's a work buddy, he might be there. No, nope. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Um, so I am inclined to, what was, I mean, we were going to maybe set a date and an agenda, but I'm inclined for to sort retreat? of, yeah, for the retreat. Should we wait until yeah, I'm here? kind of inclined to wait. I mean, it, it doesn't have to happen in January, I guess. It could happen in February or something. Are you okay with that, Heidi, or what do you prefer? I don't know anything about it, so. Okay. Pushing it back. <laughs> Sarah, are you okay if we just kind of yeah. postpone that, I guess? Well, yeah. Until or he's around? It, yeah. But or until he comes. Until he comes? Yeah, I'm, 
imagine. He might still show up, yeah. He might, yeah. He might still That's show fine. up. Right. Have you guys heard from Paul at all? No, I haven't heard from Paul either. He usually sells, sends something as well. So, so they're likely on their way. They might be on their way, yes. Okay, so now the budget discussion, which is, uh, uh, I think the main thing we're interested in on the budget is idling signs, mm -hmm. anti-idling signs. So the three and four sort of go together. Um, so as a reminder, I got busy on the day before Thanksgiving, or the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. I did a bunch of, uh, everybody was copied on my emails, right? I did a bunch of research on possible signs, and I was, uh, I was surprised. I guess I shouldn't be surprised at what is for sale on the internet, but I was surprised that so many anti-idling signs are for sale on the internet. Um, I was like, wow, really? There's enough demand to, and like four or five different sites, and reasonable prices too. I thought, wow, 20 bucks gets me an anti-idling sign. I could go wild. <laughs> and so, um, uh, cause before we kind of talked about maybe having the city help us or finding somebody to make them or something. I don't know what the idea city has was. A sign shop, actually. So could we do it? I mean, would you be happier to have the city make them or, um, I don't know if it necessarily matters. Okay. It would have to be something that like, just depends on the size of uh -huh. I guess quality of sign. Right. I mean, are you, are you super backlogged there? And so you'd rather have us buy, or would you? Uh, I haven't really checked their backlog. They usually probably think a couple of weeks they can. Okay, a couple of weeks or so. Okay, so. If design electronically, we could, they could punch them out pretty quickly. Just okay. kind of what it would cost. I'm not, we have to buy the material and then. Right. So we do, so there's a, right. So we, so we would probably just want to get a bid from them versus. And so, if, you know, for example, if you want to take these, two, two, and two, we could probably, I mean, the A-frame sign, you probably just buy, uh -huh. and then we do some type of sticky on the actual. Right, because that was what we did at Geneva. We had the one A-frame a sign that we borrowed from Public Works, I guess. They had it left over. And then the city printed the vinyl so on the, it. So the metal plugs and stuff, they could, you know, whatever size we want, they could get. Just a matter of what it costs, and they, could, they actually print their own screen. Would you guess, based on your experience, that they could do um, 12 by 18s for 20 bucks? Or? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, they obviously printed the one out in the parking lot. Uh -huh. The city made that, so I imagine it would just be whatever cost is for them. So okay. They're going to cost us labor. It's just more of a... Okay, materials. So they'd probably be competitive um, or so even we, cheaper. I mean, we go for a lump sum and just, you know, whatever we can print up within that amount. I, mean, mm -hmm. I, can, I haven't really gone to them and asked them really cost. It depends right. on what type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we can go to them and say, hey, these are the signs we want. Well, this was, yeah, well, this was at least helpful for giving me a baseline for, we could actually get uh, 20 signs or something, maybe, or 30. Because <laughs> uh, that seemed pretty reasonable to me, the prices. That was my initial reaction anyway. Yeah, and maybe cheaper, too, by and by, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it might be. And so the other thing then is just some of the designs, which I thought some of the designs were pretty good. Um, did others have a chance to look at the designs or the signs? And do you have any views on this? Um, so um, I know that when we talked about, when we had designed the original signs from a couple of years ago mm -hmm. to be used at Geneva, uh, we talked about language choice, and um, so that's another thing that, like, you don't want too many words on a sign, but you want enough to convey what you're trying to say. And if my, I would like them to be bilingual mm -hmm. at schools. Sure. Um, I know that that's maybe not practical for some of the other areas, but I focused on this is specifically to the school. Um, I, I think, so that's going to affect some of the design. Um, choices um, but yeah it was it was interesting because different people kind of had some ideas on what signs to do for this the Geneva one. Let me see if Did I can you pull that look up. At the, what Park City has on their website? Mm -hmm. okay. Yep that was uh, that was one of my links. Oh on their website. Oh as far as like the Idle Free City. Well, they actually have signs on their website that you can like use as oh, a maybe as a template. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't see that. Um, I'm sorry. Just, no, I didn't see that. And it doesn't say like Park City on there. 
Um, I don't remember like, exactly. It was pretty generic, but right. there were different ones that you could use, and I know um, the one that I showed Jason a while ago was based off of that, okay. and what we already have on site, just mm -hmm. outside the door. So if I go to Park City's website, I will find a place with so if you some like signs type somehow. In, uh, I think I something <clears throat> like Park City's anti-idling ordinance. It's going to bring up like a page where you can. Um, report, you know, someone who's idling. I see that. Um, but also, there's options for looking at um, the ordinance itself, as well as they have free, like, templates of signs that have been posted. So. Oh no, I did not know about this. I, I saw a, I saw a link to a story, an article that I sent around of that showed a picture of one of their existing signs. But um, when I was doing the research for the ordinance. I found it. So. Things might have changed a little bit, but... Okay. Cool. Um, I just apparently submitted a blank report to them that complained about something, so... Um, <laughs> they're just going to arrest some random person. They're going to arrest some random yeah. person, yeah. I was Probably totally... Totally, uh, uh, totally blank. Uh, but, okay. Well, thank you for that. We can... Uh, yeah, I'm not finding it quickly or easily <laughs> here, so I'm sure it's out there somewhere, but uh, thank you. That's that's awesome. Um, I like their signs with, that just have, you know, the really simple infographic that's just the car, the exhaust, and the red X through it. That's basically just what turn it your is, key, yeah. be idle free. It's simple, makes a point. So, um, turn the key, be idle, okay. So what that one is, is that's the one that was designed by the Idle Free Utah campaign. And um, they, they sell signs, uh, but they want a lot of money for their signs. Um, they want uh, something like $300 for two signs plus some brochures. And um, so that didn't strike me as a very nice idea. But I thought that maybe we could use that Turn the Key Be Idle Free. If we like that logo, we could probably seek permission or probably have their permission to just, I'd probably want to ask, to use it ourselves to make our own signs. So you, you like that one, the Turn the Key Be Idle Free? I like it because it, I don't know, people pay more attention to the picture than a, uh -huh. reading a bunch of words. Right. And to your point about the bilingual thing, if, if you can yeah, communicate it in a symbol yeah. rather than language, sometimes that covers your bases. See, time. I mean, so for example, though, I sent around this link, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a nice one, too, I thought. I like that one, uh, Idle Free City, and that kind of got at the spirit of what we were talking about, that, you know, it's kind of a community thing. It, it's not do this. Right, though at the bottom it does say turn engine off. Yeah, but it that also... was one of the things um, when we talked about it. I remember Erin said she liked the usage of the word please. Yes, Which right. some of the some, some of the one of them had a please, please, yeah. But I like that also because it, I don't know, it kind of shows that it might be a monetary thing too. Maybe maybe pe people don't buy that, right? But um, so you know, big truck idling with <clears throat> gas dollar signs coming out of its tailpipe with a big red line through it. So I thought, oh, that's a, that's a, a clever sign. Um, and then, uh, yeah, here's one that says, please, um, right? Uh, no idling, please turn off your engine. And please is even italicized. And it has the, uh, another reason why I like this one is because it um, has actual human being who's kind of suffering from the exhaust, right? <laughs> Um, so... I like that one, too. Do you like that one? Okay. I kind of like that one, too. I... Yeah, I like I that. couldn't I like remember what I was looking at. I couldn't find it again in my email, but... Um... I also like, um, I do like the idea of the idle free city. Like, that, that phrase. Okay. Something in reference to identifying our, our city collectively. That was right. Yeah. Yeah. I like I that like, too. I do like that. And that was the, yeah. And that's, and that's how, and so Park City, maybe not on their website, but in practice, 
uh, that's what they've done. And so they've, I sent around another one with that one in it. Uh, here, let's see if I can find that one real quick. Um, right here, this one. Oh, for Pete's sake. I can't see it without passing a test here first. Uh, so annoying. There we go. I passed. Right. So it's that, right? So it has that turn your key be idle free thing, which is, that's the, this is the kind of the standard logo, logo produced by the idle free Utah people who are behind a lot of this. But then you like the idea of the idle free city, that just phrase up there, right? I like. I personally like idle free city and please turn off your engine or please turn off your car or okay. something like that. Those two phrases, as far as generally placed around the city, I like those two. Okay. Idle free city, please turn off. You like the turn your KB idle free thing too, that, that logo or? I can take it or leave it. Okay. I just feel like it's catchy. It's catchy, right. Yeah, turn your KB idle free. Okay. One thing to keep in mind, yeah. as far as making this future proof, a lot of cars don't necessarily have keys key anymore. Stick in yeah, the that's a good anymore. point. Yeah. And so, yeah. If you're wanting these to last for a while. That's that's a good point. <laughs> It'll be dated yeah, by then. The yeah. 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 That's a good point. Like dialing a phone. Today. You think you? Yeah. Have, yeah. You don't have a key. How does yours work? Your Tesla. It's my phone. Yeah, so, your phone. Bluetooth. Yeah. yeah. Um. So Sam, did you have a view? Really, did you have a view on any of these I, signs? Which all the ideas you guys are sharing are great. Yeah, so. you've liked them all. Yeah, yeah. And, they're, and they're probably all fine, right? So we should just choose a couple and. Um, uh, yeah, I, I would say just don't get into like, oh, that's a good idea, and that's a good idea, and then try to put like four messages on. I agree. Sign. <laughs> okay. One, maybe two messages per sign. Right. Ideally. So idle free city. Please turn off your engine, and we wouldn't even need a. Though it's, it is nice to have at least a symbol there, right? Oh, so yeah, it, no. So, the words, so not the words, right. but just the symbol. Yes. yes. Okay, I see. Right. Okay, I like that. I feel like, you know, whatever. I, I'm not I'm not super picky about it. No, we're not going to... We can't go wrong, really. Yeah. Well, I, I think we could annoy some people, actually. <laughs> yeah. I think you put I, your mind to it. <laughs> I have faith in you. <laughs> I, I think that I think the please is important, and I think um, you know I think something that's too strong might backfire, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's why I think please is important. Um, so um, okay, well, great. Now um, let's say that we wanted to see if, if the, could we just um, what would the sign shop need? Could we send it a, a link or two like this, or we actually even have to? So we would probably want to design it in some type of form. That we can can just I could probably do that if you want. You so you'd have to create I, a. Yeah, doc, uh, I could put together some samples. Okay. And email it around. Okay. Um, as long as the dimensions, probably the signs are eighteen by twenty-four or twelve by whatever, eighteen. Yeah, and they could probably work or whatever plan. Oh, any uh, Okay. Okay. They're typically 12 by 18 yeah. online here. Yeah. Probably have those do, or, use, okay. do you use Illustrator so you can make it like a vector image? Or? I'm not that fancy. Okay. I just use Canva. Okay. But I can do an Illustrator image. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. If yeah. other folks with more skills are willing to do it, that's great. So, yeah. so it's all electronic now. I just put it in the computer. Okay. It gets printed out. Uh... Okay. So, so I'm not going to do that. If we come up with a design, we could actually try to see if we can get them to print in the next week, month, or whatever. A prototype that we can bring in and show you. And okay. If that's acceptable, then we can do more. Okay. They probably would do one, we could just talk about doing one for free. You know, right, so right. See. And then after that, we'd have to see how, if it's going to cost okay. us. So, so, so Jenna, which, which one, or Jason, which one did you like? Did you have a favorite here? Or? I, I'm just. Like the symbol itself. Uh -huh. So that symbol okay? So I don't like the red necessarily. Yeah, I'm kind of like like it's noticeable, but then I I start having second thoughts about the red. Okay. But we like the please turn what off if it's engine. Green? 
Uh huh. Green, green. green is a little softer. More. You could do opposite and you could have the red writing, which I think what this is on the white background. And there's right, yeah, that's fairly. Or you could do, you know, the... And could you do the, the smoke or the exhaust like a dark gray or something like that? Could I don't know how many colors they can do oh, on right. one of those. Well, but... it's, it's all, uh, you can do a lot. Color printer, I mean, it's all just the material that they, so right. they can do multi colors. Okay. Because I could see it being tough to make out. What is that? If you're at a distance, um, maybe a dirty sign or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, that's awesome. When Jenna gets back, so did Jenna kind of volunteer? I guess to do this. It sounded or? like it. Okay. <laughs> so we can come up with a design and then email it out, and okay. if it's good, otherwise we can do some tweaking. And, then we can and you think it might it. take a month? It depends. Okay. I'll, we'll ask. Because it's like over the holidays. So, because if we want to have some of these ready for the doing the school pilot, um, you know, January, February is the optimal time for the messaging. Yeah. Um, so, we could we could do a mix here. We could maybe buy some of these off the shelf ones, and then also just for the schools. Well, and also the if if, if it gets. Well, I don't know as far as budget goes. Budget wise, we don't, yeah, we don't have the budget right we now. We don't have the budget right now. But right. what I can do is get the sign shop and see, okay, how much it will cost to print okay. a few of these signs. And we can, we can work on that. It's just a matter of if we want to go oh. to A frames and all these other right. things are going to cost. Right. That's what it could be. And that's separate printing. Oh. That was the one that I did based on the purchasing one. But we don't have to use it. That's beautiful. Even if it would just add please to it, yeah. that would... Can you add please? Mm -hmm. uh, um, I should say that differently. Could you please, please add please? Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's just the one. I mean, I can do different stuff. Too. That's that's really cool. I, I like it. I think it's simple. And I mean, in some ways... on the one that's just outside, yeah. too. In some so. ways, I kind of like the dude there, because it makes it Is the it person there. Yeah, yeah it makes right. it... Yeah, maybe. Yeah. 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 I, can do that. I don't know if you could put a person there. That seems... Maybe it's a little too dramatic. It doesn't seem too dramatic to me, though. I mean, that's... Well, the ones that I've seen had, like, a mom and a child uh -huh. holding right. hands walking and the exhaust cloud and stuff, so <clears throat> you can do whatever. Uh, um, yes. So uh, I think that we are agreed that something like this, Idle Free City, and then please turn off engine. Um, uh, I wonder if just please turn off engine. Yeah. That's instead right. of just when parked, park because yeah, that might be more words. Yeah. Than if they're moving, because don't really need to be. Right. Like, wait, I'm supposed to turn off my engine. Yeah. Yeah. Right, because I don't know. I, I yeah. You you can imagine somebody waiting in line somewhere. Well, I'm not parked, right? Um, right. At, right. A, at a drive-through or something. <laughs> It's, it's hard too with the drive through because depending on how fast it, like if you're in a right. AAA drive through, yes. they, yeah, they you don't, no, 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 <laughs> you don't want it right now. Then it's well, more harmful to keep yes. it off and, and off. And a lot of the vehicles now have that switch that you can change it from every time it stops, the engine yeah. shuts off. So, Most hybrids like the hybrids, that. yeah. Okay. So, Jenna, you are, um, <coughs> just to be clear on this, you will produce a modified, slightly modified version of that, since we all like it so well, yeah. and and then, um, are we okay? Should we just send it straight to the sign shop? And so we'll, we'll get one prototype, okay. print it on the metal, okay. and bring it in and show you. Okay, great. Great. And we all like this language, Idle Free City, please turn off your engine, and then that symbol, maybe with a person or a mother and a child or something. Did you like the please in a kind of script? I kind of do, actually. I kind of do, too. <laughs> yeah, I think it's really polite, yeah. and we want to be, I mean, it yeah. emphasizes how polite it is, yeah. So, yeah, I, kinda like I don't know, Jenna, what do you think? Do you like the... We can do that. Yeah. 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 Okay. This is so much fun. I'm, I'm having <laughs> a really good time. I, I, I am not a visual person, but I do like messaging, and um, this is a fun messaging thing. So, um, 
Jason, I am so sorry. Did you have something else that was important that I've neglected you here for? Mm -hmm. Or you, you're here for this discussion? It's mostly discussing. Well, oh, thank you so much. Um, so nice of you. Okay, so then the next thing is where to put them. And you saw in my emails that I also contacted the Utah County Chamber of Commerce. And I was actually really successful. I was surprised at how pleasant and interested they were. I expected, you know, oh, yeah, we'll get back to you. But no, they were actually really interested. They are the hosts of the Utah Valley Clean Air Task Force. Yeah, so that's partly it. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I talked to, I, ta I just cold called them. And I got the person who answered the <laughs> phone, their, their central administrator, secretary person. And she says, oh, yeah, we would be very interested in that. She put me right through to their public policy guy. I forget his name right now. I could look it up again. I'm bad with names. He said, yeah, he says that I, he says, we'd love to feature you in our newsletter and, um, and see if businesses, how many science businesses want. He says, I'm sure we'd get a few takers. So, um, so we've got an invitation to put something in the newsletter. Um, we've got an invitation to show up to their next, uh, committee meeting. Maybe that's the task force meeting. I don't know. Is that separate or? I attend those monthly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, they're the second Tuesday of one or something like that. Two. Two. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. No, no, no. Fourth. Oh, oh, sorry. No, I'm think I'm thinking of the Clean Air Task Force. You're talking about the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, the Chamber of oh, Commerce is, is different. Okay. okay, gotcha. So yeah. they don't cool. host that, or maybe they do, but it's a different thing. Because no, he said the Chamber of Commerce hosts its own clean air thing. It's oh. just businesses and oh. talking about clean cool. air things. Okay. So no, this is not the Clean Air Task Force. This is something else. This cool. is some business oriented thing that he does. I've got it here in my email if I looked. So he was very interested in this. Um, he wants to promote it in the newsletter and he wants us to make a presentation at their next committee meeting. And um, the next one is in January sometime. Uh, and so, um, so uh, I thought, you know, I was starting to call businesses individually, but then I had that brainstorm and I thought, oh, why approach businesses individually? Why not do them all at once? So I stopped calling businesses individually <laughs> and because they were not getting back to me anyway. Uh, and so, um, but judging demand is going to be difficult. So that's my only concern is... Uh, so first of all, are we okay providing it free to them, maybe? Um, and second, can we just say that we need a few hundred dollars in budget and then see what demand is later? And we could. I mean, the budget doesn't come out until July of next year. So okay. I guess we'll have to see how we can bridge that gap. Okay. Between. So what we'll do is get a prototype, ask them what it would cost to print each of those signs, and then that will give us a better idea of what we can go out to businesses if we get high demand of 25, 30 signs, then we'll have to deal with right. that. Okay, yeah. okay. So get a prototype, and then we can use that prototype and, and advertise it in their newsletter. So probably, so it sounds like it, take a, it might take a month or so to get the prototype. So we'll be in their newsletter in February, maybe. I can't remember when their newsletter goes out. I think it's the first of each month. Maybe we'll make the January one. But at least we can go to the January meeting as well and tell them what we're doing and sort of present our idea and get feedback there from them. Perhaps we'll have a sign you guys can take us. We could take yeah. a sign and show it to them and, yeah, get some feedback. Is this sounding okay, everybody? Yeah. If, it, it's a, if it's popular and we you know, need more money, we can definitely put that mm -hmm. as a request. Yeah. We can think about it. Sure. Yeah. And I'm also sure, not sure what kind of sign they might want. Most of these are... Uh, intended to be a metal 12 by 18 sign on a little post in the ground, but I can imagine some businesses maybe wanting something different, right? Something they could stick on a wall. We could do you that. Can... We could wrap an electric, you know, current power pole or mm. not a power pole, but a light pole. Okay. Like okay. Some right. of probably some of those could be affixed. Uh, that are, I mean, that you see on stakes probably could be affixed to a wall. Yeah, with a, a, well, some with of the metal the, ones. Yeah. Well, like, yeah. Definitely could. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so maybe maybe the metal ones are just the way to go all around. Anyway, yeah, I was very happy about all of that and felt really good about it. Um, so uh, let's see, what else do I need to say about that? Uh, um, I, 
I will get the details about when the next committee meeting is, uh, this Utah Valley Chamber thing, and I will email them the committee and see who wants to join me there for a little presentation. Okay? Um, now, uh, we also asked, uh, us, we asked people to think about where might we put them around the city. Uh, has anybody been thinking about that? Um, not, not so much. We asked mostly Paul and Quinn to do that, I guess, and they're not yeah. here, so... Would, um, would the transportation folks have data on traffic areas or, I mean, because obviously you can't turn off your car when you're in traffic or at a stop. Right. right. So, like, do they know of areas that are prone? It's part of the utopia thing. There are some, I don't know what they call them, Sam, but the air testers that they have. The purple air? Oh, purple air, purple air quality that, monitoring. You could use that data to find out. Where? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Grocery stores with pickup. Right. Oh, that. Yeah, I like that. I, I just started Walmart. working, and I work at a Walmart, and nobody turns their car yeah. off when they're picking up groceries, and it's yeah. making me insane. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's even good. like the fast food, like mobile order, park, and they'll bring your food out to you, kind of thing. Um, they already have signs out to like. This is space number two, this is space number three, to right. work for your food kind of thing. Yeah. That might be a good spot. So those are all business oriented. I was yeah. talking more about the, so we'll keep on that with the businesses, but I was thinking more about public places, right? Yeah. So uh, a park or something like that. Um, people might be idling. Do you think people idle much at parks? I mean... Maybe not. I guess... We can start with the library out here. Yeah. Library yeah. is a good place. People places. might... People are there some already at the library? I don't think I'm going to look. I know there's one here. I'm, I'm assuming there's one over there, but I don't know. Let's go look. There's an idle-free sign here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. On the light poles you walk out. Uh, okay. By the bar. How long yes. has that one been there? Or the rec center? Over here. Maybe. Yeah, as long as I've been here. Yeah, yeah, right. When it's finished, right. Yeah, sorry. We've or, got U2 UTA hubs where people get picked oh. up. Oh, that's good. All the time. Yeah. That's good. The UTA mm -hmm. hub down on Geneva, right? And yeah. the one by the mall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that one's closed now. Oh, is it? I, I don't even go the through there, there anymore. To, to the train? Or not. Station. Parkway. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's useful thoughts. And then, Sarah, you came up with some school ideas. So uh, do you want to run that past us? Um, yeah. So Looks like you just sent that around. I did. Um. I don't know how I'm supposed to formally draw up a budget proposal. I don't really do this regularly, so <laughs> this is what you get. Um, so the idea was to kind of use schools as research facilities to help us determine the efficacy of, of the signs and of different kinds of signs. Um, and so that we can collect the data and then um, determine which signs we would like to invest in specifically for schools going forward. So the idea was to choose uh, three schools um, and the requirements for that would be um, they need to identify the local you know, project leader at the school um, who will facilitate this program. Um, and then they collect data twice in week zero, is what I put it at, before we put the signs up. And then each of the schools places their signs, whether it's a metal sign that is affixed permanently to a wall, or and there are two signs at each school um, and at the pickup zone. And the three signs are, one, the 12 by 18 metal signs at one school. Um, lawn signs, like the 18 or the 24 by 18 lawn signs um, at a second school. And then at the third school, those larger A frame 24 by 36 large scale A frame signs. So two signs. That, that was my thought for kind of starting out this research. Um, I did not consider the smaller A-frame signs because most of those would likely blow away in the wind or fall so down. this is for the school, so the other signs are separate. Right. I just, I, this was so just this focused on school. schools, so on the school research. On the other sign, we want right. to add that into this. Right. Um, 
So, um, and then the idea is for them to place the signs out every day and then collect data twice a week for the first two weeks that they do it and then at maybe after they've been up for six weeks to see kind of the longer term, any longer term changes associated with the signs. Um, and then hopefully there's something interesting in that data to see if the signs are useful at the school pickup, um, if it has kind of like some longevity and changing behavior, um, if there's a particular sign style that seems to work better. Anyway, I just, I liked the idea that we, what we did at Geneva where kind of collecting some data and um, I think it makes it more fun and it's a good fit for school, the school population anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but for those school signs, I would like to have some Spanish language. Well, I mean, unless we use these signs, I think it should be okay. But if we wanted to do a slightly separate sign that's specifically for schools, um, that could be an option as well. Or if we want to have them all kind of uniform throughout the, um, the city. Anyway, but so I just... Um, and then the idea as far as funding, um, I just kind of threw this out there as an option to have um, the three schools pay, the city pays half of the cost of the signs, and then the schools pay the other half of the cost, um, divided by three for each of the schools. Um, and the school, that could be either the school pays for it, or the parent group pays for it, or they do like kind of like a drive to get the parent volunteers, hey, this is a project that we're partnering with the city on to, you know, would you guys like to put in, chip in five bucks or something like that. Um, and according to this, it would come out to less than $45 per school. Um, and then that money that is collected would then go towards offsetting future sign costs at the next round of schools, once we figure out which signs work best. Do you, uh, have you ever talked to a school about helping pay for something like this? I haven't yet. <laughs> <laughs> so right now we're but, just... But um, that's why I was like, maybe we start with the more affluent neighborhoods. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And I'm sure you, you know, could find a PTA somebody uh, who well, would be interested in this. Well, the thing is, I'm sh I would think that there's, given all the schools in the city of Orem, I think we could find three yeah. schools where yeah. there's somebody at the school who really wants to, you know, be a part of this and make it happen and find the money. My wife was PTA president one year, and she had money and wondered what to do with it. So oh. this happened. Our school is the very opposite. <laughs> <laughs> we have no money, so I'm not going to start at our school because. Um, in fact, I was stunned when she dollars. took over. The cash that they had on hand was astonishing. I was like. Wow, really? They've just been accumulating this all Ridge? through the years? Northridge? No, it was a There's cascade. A Portland, my grandson's son. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this one includes kids, right. like a parent and oh, a that's child. Good. That's what we used in at the other version of the sign. We had, so we had children. Where's that? That's important, actually. Oh, wow. That's really but cool. It's right in, so the drop-off is right here against the wall. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so they're good. Yeah, so that's I do good. like the addition like of... I do like the addition of children. Yeah. Um, if we were doing like a, a kid, ver you know, a school version of the sign. So I imagine schools are, I mean, a lot of them aren't designed necessarily like this one that they could actually put it on the wall because right. it's probably too far back. But okay. So, Sarah, I thought that everything you did on this last year was just amazing. I think you're a fantastic person to do all this and I'm excited about this proposal too. I think this is well, great. Well, and I'm hoping that we can, because we did have that KSL news bit, um, mm -hmm. I'm hoping to kind of use that to incentivize potential school partners. Say, hey look, this is phase two of something that we did last year. Would you like to partner with us to really kind of move the needle a little bit? Um, and this is something that, you know, got some news attention and Anyway, so I'm hoping that that might okay. help so encourage some schools. Were you saying it was 40, like the school share of it was $45? Less than $45. Okay. I mean, 
So Dell will match any contribution I give to a charitable, which Alpine has a foundation. Right. I'll just do like the, the school's half, like half of their half, and then right, Dell will right. do the other half. So I can just do that so that you don't need to waste your time. Okay. Like, wow. Doing the that, so, thank you. Um, Where do you go, Sam? As long as we you know, figure out which schools we want to yeah. do it at. And, um, and, so, and we can coordinate that Alpine will actually divert the money to that purpose. Right, that right. Right, right. <laughs> um, it's an earmark. So the, the challenge, though, that we have regarding the budget, I mean, does anybody have any questions on this? You guys work with budgets more than I do. Does this sound reasonable? Yeah. I guess the point would be it doesn't, we won't know that until it gets approved in June. July, right. Or June. So May. June. this wouldn't get approved for this inversion season. So, Unless we can come up with some other money. Yeah, if we can, you know, find a donor that wants to fund this project. Or, um, Last time you like indicate that it might be possible to come up with existing money? Yeah, well, we can see. Or do you know of maybe some businesses? Maybe you can check with the Chamber of Commerce to see if there are some Orem businesses that would be interested in sponsoring yeah, this year's version of the budget? Yeah, we could pitch that when we meet with them yeah. on yeah. January, but um, you know, it's already getting into. Right. But, but I mean, maybe, I don't know if you can shoot them an email now, this month and just kind of get so it that on there. Get it on there. It. Um, right. Just sort of pitch the idea, even though we don't I mean, have cause a. If they hear that right. and say, yeah, sure, we can come up with $250 among these three right. businesses that are interested in sponsoring it. Um, then right. we could get the ball rolling on getting the signs made. Yeah. Okay. How did you come up with these numbers? The the budget oh, for the A-frame and the budget? It was on the high end. Okay. So I'm sure we could come in right. under this budget. But, right. You know, budgeting the high end. Okay. So um, the sign um, email or um, websites that you posted. Uh-huh. You found this some is stuff. the the okay. twenty eight seventy five is for custom, so that's the okay. most expensive for that that size sign. So got it. Um, and then um, the lawn signs, just you know, a business here in Orem, and then the A frame signs was just online. Again, kind of a moderate price. Um, this is the the more expensive of the price, the twenty four by thirty six. Down in the notes below, you'll see that there's also a a version of it that's ten dollars cheaper. That's eighteen by twenty four. Okay. So this so is just a high end are, budget, but I'm sure we could. Yeah, I was. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, thank you. That's helpful to know. By the way, I'll just do it through the City of Orem Foundation, and that way we don't need to worry about routing it through oh. Alpine School District's thing. Um, so because oh. you can flag like what it's for, and that way Pete or whoever yeah. is getting that in can just make sure it gets dedicated to that purpose. So. Okay. Very cool. There we go. So, so your total is two fifty three, but I, I, I hold on. I haven't read the details, or I forgot, or I wasn't paying attention. <coughs> so the total is two fifty three. Of that, you would ask for Orem to pay one twenty five. Mm -hmm. So, for six uh, signs. For six signs. For six signs. Six signs. Yeah. 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 Not Can you? Think about that, Jason. Would you yes. be willing to consider the hundred twenty-five dollars, and yes. so we could even maybe do something this season? Yep. Thank you. Um, we really appreciate that. Thank you for your support, and I really do appreciate both of your how you spend your time with us. I just think it's so nice. Thank you. Um, it's really meaningful. Okay. Great. So thank you, Sarah. Did you did I cut you off? Did nope. you? Okay. Great. Um, so to-do list, uh, Sam gives money. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> and Dell gives money. Give Dell gives money. Do. Okay. Can you put it under a sign category or what? Well, I'll, I'll, ask, I'll ask Pete, and if he doesn't know, I'll, but basically there's just like an open forum where you can say it's to support the, the fundraising efforts or this program, and you can just text, spell out what that is. So that's what Dell will send it as. <clears throat> That way, when they get the check from Dell, then they understand. They do a one-to-one -one match. Yeah. That's great. So then Pete will be able to hopefully ask now so we can match it. Okay. And I'll, 
So I'll I'll email Pete and you guys together so that we can all be on the same page for cool. what it's going to look like. When Thank arrives. you. So did you work with Sanarima to get these pressed? For the uh, I yeah I just called them and <coughs> they said for one side, um, if we supply the design, which again the design would have to accommodate <coughs> the landscape because those signs are landscape. So we would you know. So this might, would yeah excuse me. Yeah, we might have to tweak something on that, but um. So that was just the ones that actually just like they a campaign sign? Yeah, yeah, like campaign signs. Okay. Again, yeah. trying to see. So if we wanted to do this for this season, it's best to go to these design, these shops maybe, and instead of, is that what you're thinking, Sarah? Buy them from uh, yeah. these so places the online? Yeah, so the A-frames would yeah. be like online, metal yeah. signs if we can do them um, quickly in-house. Yeah. So we have a couple of metal signs that we use for public noticing. Okay. We could maybe borrow a couple of those, you know, after we print the temporary. Oh, are you talking about the A-frame signs? No, no. Not the A-frame. Oh, the metal sign? Big metal. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if that would work. Oh, you mean like just kind of like Possibly. tape something over it? Maybe we'll get, no, I'll actually do an insert, so like sign around that. Make oh, so gotcha. I'll show you what I mean. I mean gotcha. I mean, that could work. Grant's office. Okay, so to do this for you, Sarah, is to just kind of follow up coordinating all this. I'm not totally sure I I'm following can, everything here, but you will do that. I can start reaching out to schools. Yeah, you can start so reaching will, out to schools. I'll and, draft up an, uh, a letter, uh -huh. and then I'll reach out to the schools. Right. That's a lot of schools. But it um, doesn't sound like we need money anymore from them, right? Aren't, don't we already have the money? So we just um, need schools. If, for the school, if, on the school if, side. If Jason and Jenna are going to... Get the city's right. portion for the pilot. Right. Then. Right. So if we take some of my sister's trees. Oh, okay, okay. The steps in, we could actually get someone oh. that made these signs for us. Yeah, that could be so better. We could actually do some type of insert that we just go over the top of this. That's much more sturdy. So oh, those, that's, that's yeah. very nice. Yeah, that's a nice idea. So you could use two of those. Because an yeah. insert there would be a yeah, lot. Yeah, if we've already got those. And if it, I mean, these we obviously use used for this purpose, but if this works, then right. we can buy the frame. Buy more. There. Yeah. So I know. Just How do those do. go? Okay, it just, so okay, just, yeah, so it just goes in the lawn like that. Yeah, yeah I like that better. It's going to be more permanent. Yeah. At least for a temporary. Right, more permanent for a temporary. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah so I'll, okay. I'll um, start reaching out to schools. Um, what are the charter schools in Orem? Noah Webster and... Um, uh, it's up by my neighborhood. Um, Academy. Isn't there one right across from Orem High there, just to the west? Oh, what yeah, Arches? Yeah, Arches, yeah. Um, and then there's the one on 8 South next to UCCU, kind of, right? That's Webster, yeah. Yeah, Nova Webster. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. why am I blanking on the name okay. up in Northwest Orem? Okay, so you will reach out to schools and um, and think about and and help follow through on the actual, because it sounds like if they can come up with some money that we could just buy or create the signs in some way, right? So, you I think we can come up with that after we find it. Okay. Were you thinking of Mazer? Mazer. That's yeah. technically a legend, but. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. well, I just, there were a bunch of Orm kids that yeah. were going there, so. Oh, that's like the Korean legend. Okay. Okay. And then, Jenna, you will amend I'll that design that you made and send it around to for approval, and then we will get yeah. a prototype. Yeah. And You'll you'll finish off thinking about the budget, but it sounds like you're fairly confident we can find a hundred twenty five dollars somewhere. <laughs> and can you make a modified version that would fit that those sign dimensions? If you make it in Illustrator, you can. Okay. We can maybe have the sign shop actually make it, and we can just slip it in. Yeah. We could. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. Great. And I will continue coordinating with Utah. Valley Chamber of Commerce on this, and um, uh, and we will all continue thinking about other <coughs> locations where we might want to try this. So to clarify, yes, you're only asking for money for the school locations, not for the business locations. So we'll find out the costs. We'll make one prototype, give them to give us an estimate of what one sign's going to cost, and we'll have to come back and let you know what that is. And maybe that's something okay. we can. In the budget coming up and mm -hmm. this year for next, you know, from July forward, okay. and we can use that money unless the unless a business is anxious and they want to, you know, contribute X amount of dollars for their own signs, we yeah. can do that. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Okay. But it, that, we'll that get sounds... a cost of what they're going to sign with B, you know. Okay. So we've got kind of two tracks here, right? We've got the school track and the and the business and or public track. Is that right? Okay. Good. And we will try to fast track the school track, and then the other one will. Okay. And just so you know, we're... Dell cycle. You know, it'll probably take about two months for the state to actually get the check from Dell. Uh, but um, I'm not sure if you guys can just float it for two months. We'll see yeah. Kind of hard bar. Okay. Uh, thank you. Very productive. I'm sorry my computer went to sleep and I don't know where my agenda went. I've got too many windows open. Water conservation strategies discussion that Heidi requested. Sorry, Heidi. It's, we have no, not much time it's, left. It's okay. It's my pet peeve since I moved here. I. The first time I woke up in the spring in Utah and I went out, I'm like, huh, that's weird. It rained last night. No, it didn't rain. Literally, everybody waters their lawn at night. It's ridiculous. A bunch of others, I, I understand the position Orem is in with water rights. I understand that things are improving with the drought. That doesn't change the fact that we live in the desert. Lawns are ridiculous and the way people water them is even more ridiculous. There are cities, like all around us cities, including ones that, you know, get their water rights from us, are restricting when people are allowed to water their lawns. And we do nothing as a city. I think that having significant water rights, we have a responsibility to set an example rather than just letting people waste water willy-nilly. I mean, and, I mean, hopefully we would never get in a position where I can't remember anymore what city it was, where somebody, like everyone, revenge watered 26 million gallons of water in one day. But revenge watering. I never heard that phrase. They were, they were, they had put, given out warnings for a month and finally gave out citations over the weekend for people watering their lawns when it was against the city ordinance. And the day after the night after those fines went out, a 26 million gallon reservoir of secondary water empty. Huh. So but oh, go I, ahead, mean, I, I don't I don't think that's gonna happen. That's when there was one instance. <laughs> when did you so, move here? I've been here for fifteen years. I think it is important to note that the city council approved a really substantial rate increase in water rates, um, what, about a year and a half ago. And um, and it's progressively, it's a really, I mean, I was surprised <laughs> at how... I mean, we're, we're actually, we're, it's on a seven-year master plan, right. which we're a little bit more than halfway through now at this point. So for the next three, assuming the council continues on that same path, then... Um, we'll, we'll still have about three more years of that. Of water rate increases. How has that gone over? Oh, well, it depends on who you ask. Yeah. So, um, I, I mean, I've gotten raked over the coals for voting for it and, and things like that. But it's part of the, I think, the political challenge we've had with, with some of the things you're talking about is if we brought the hammer down and made it punitive and kind of lead with the stick, um, it doesn't go over as politically as appetizing as when you're leading with the carrot, like what we did with the uh, zero scaping ordinance this last year, where we're giving people more freedom and flexibility to do those types of things, but we're not enforcing, like where you have to start cutting back on your lawn or how often you water it and things like that. Um, so I just think if, if your goal is to implement a policy change to say, hey, we're gonna start rationing or fining people for watering in these certain areas, um, I'm not sure you're going to be able to get political support from the council to be right because uh, they're the ones that are ultimately going to answer. Even if you guys come up with the idea, I'll keep pushing it till I till I'm dead. So <laughs> and that's fine. I just so, well, I want to make the rate change. I mean, because I it's just been a year and a half. Year. It's just been a year and a half. So we'll start seeing the data that shows how that rate change has ultimately affected how people Speaking water. Speaking of data, that's what I like. I'm a, I'm a data guy I, since I teach at BYU and all that kind of stuff. 
Is there any way that I could get data on water usage and see how much it has declined thanks to the rate increases? Um, you guys are probably crunching those numbers yourself. So Neil Winterton, who's our section manager for water, I can send you his email. Okay. He'd be the one you want to ask. Okay. So any data that they have dealing with water, Neil will know. Yeah. Whatever's pop, you know, whatever is available to the public, or right, he would definitely be sure. Yeah. Because I would be really interested in how much this has mattered. I imagine it does. I, I would be too. I'm in a unique position because I live in a condo in the HOA. It's a really large HOA. And this is another thing. I think that the city needs to push to meter everyone. I have live in an HOA about 144 units. And you're not metered. The entire HOA is on meter. They're watering Water the lawn uh, every day from March until October, and they won't stop. I thought that was the one thing that they were going to change, is everybody has to have, be metered more these days. Is that? We're not metered. Really? Well. They, they estimate our water usage. We could be paying a lot yeah. so, more than we should be, so but we may be underpaying by I don't even know how much. Your complex would be metered. But what they pass on to you might not be like they're right. not going to know. Well, this unit uh, gets this much, and this month's good. Oh no, month. we don't. Yeah, our water but the, bill is the just complex the gets HOA. metered, right? Yeah. We don't have lack of metering issues here in Orem for the most part. I would imagine we we have issues where we've got old meters that aren't functioning as efficiently as it could. So we might be losing. We might only be you know billing them for let's say eighty or ninety percent of the usage. But we are going through and, and updating the meters that are actually yeah. smart meters, yeah. so that we'll actually know usage throughout the winter months as well. Because you'll you notice in right. April you'll typically get a bill that's for the entire winter, um, and they, yeah. So is there a way to find out how many properties are unmetered in Orem for water? I don't know if there's any properties that are unmetered. You're saying ours, like ours how many? Is estimated water usage. But, but the property what he's saying is, is the complex is metered. Right. That's, so that's not from yeah. the city that estimates it. That's from your HOA. Have your HOA's estimate. Yeah. yeah. But they are metered. They that's this, what Sam's oh, saying. No, I'm, I'm saying that my HOA, not my building, I don't pay a water bill. I don't get a water bill. I don't know anything about water. There's one bill. It goes to the property management company. Right. But the city of Orem estimates the entire property's water usage. We do not have a water meter hooked up to our Which property. Is this? Huh. Garden what? Park. Hmm. It's across the street from Target. I kind of wonder if hmm. just information is not getting Passing. in one end and out the other the right way. So. so I'm in an HOA too, and I know that my property manager says things to shut me up. So, <laughs> so this is, it's this not, is not just, just I, I mean, out. you can ask Thank you. to see the Jason. bills because that would show the metering and how everything's broken out because I know in my development, it's each building has its own meter. And so you can see the water usage per building. Hmm. So I'm sure that your complex has a similar structure to that. But they there's, might not a, not there's not a water so meter on my building. Going forward with new developments, is that something that's written in the code where every unit has to have its own meter? No, they, they, on larger projects, they will have a master meter or master mm -hmm. meters. And so a lot of projects will run through a large meter and it just feeds out. So like Parkway Crossing, for example, those all those three or four buildings are under one meter. Oh, so individual large, units do not yeah. know how much water yeah. they're using. So but the, the city still knows how many units there are so that they yes. can yes. add that new so the sewer, fee on. Sewer so fee we're paying the new appropriate right. dollar per unit. So the sewer fee is based on the door. Right. So the number of doors that they have, and then the water fee is going to be whatever goes through that, and then they bill the whoever's entity that bills it, and then they huh. then sub-bill it out to, if it's included in your rent or however that works. But typically they run through a master meter. And the, the change I think you might have been referring to there had to do with the sewer base rate. Whatever. Where, okay. yeah, cause it's it, whatever. So sewage is not metered. Our HOA fees went up by 10 bucks a month, which yeah. I knew was going to happen. It's whatever. But it used to be that if you were you know, kind of a widow in a single family home compared to a giant apartment complex, you paid the same exact sewer base rate. Mm -hmm. So we changed it so that the, yeah. 
the complex had a per door fee as well. So that it kind of yeah, I, s I was in support of that because it's fair. So, oh, sorry. No, I'll find out. Thank you. Yes, yeah, thank you for looking into that, Jason. We need to wrap up. So, but one real quick clarification, Sam. So when you guys passed the increase in water rates, there was a whole schedule of how much they would increase year by year. Yeah, and it, so it, it did change a little bit because it started off with it was going to change like this percentage each year. Uh -huh. But then along the way, we the state passed a law that said we had to have conservation-based right. rates. And so that's when we implemented the tiered rate structure. Okay. And so that kind of got integrated into those Got so it. That the year and a half ago that you were talking about, that's or, the, or that's the, the conservation. Rate, that was the tiered rate structure. Got it. Um, yeah. But do you have to reapprove those every year to keep them up, or it's, so it's part of the annual budget cycle? Okay. So and, and we've just stuck to what what it was each year. And my hope would be that you know in the future they continue because we needed to build in enough so that we could um, you know replace the infrastructure and be more sustainable. But program. there's always a possibility it'll be rolled back a little bit. Yeah, because our our our. Um, plan that we agreed to was to be on uh, pay-as-you-go as oh. opposed to continuing to bond for some okay. of these capital infrastructure projects. But they might decide for the water storage tank, for example, because that's a one-time big expense where if you're just saving up the cash for it, it's basically the residents now are giving a huge gift to future residents because we're paying in cash now versus if you know this is a structure that's going to be use useful for the next 50 to 75 years. If you did a bond, then you could stretch it out a little bit so the people that are actually benefiting from it are. So, you know, I can't speak for the future council and what they're going to decide to do, but as, as we've right. currently been on that track, it's just been page you go. Thank you so much. That's also very helpful. Let's keep this on the agenda, keep talking about it. We've all got a lot of ideas here, so thank you very much. I think we should probably wrap up, though. We're well past time. Uh, so, um, I move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Oh, oh wait, oh, we minutes. have the minutes. Oh. Minutes. Okay, I move approval of the minutes from last time. I don't, I, okay, are you allowed to? Yeah, yeah, yeah he can. To. Okay, I'll, I'll second. All in favor? I. Yes. Mm -hmm. I move adjournment. Second. All in favor? I. Okay. And this is our last meeting with you. Yes. Like, yes. Unless I just show up, this is a public meeting. Actually, it is a public so, meeting. So we Sam, would really appreciate Renegade. your yeah. insights. Are amazing. Thank you so much. You've been fantastic. Uh, Don't tell the just, other committees that you guys have been one of the most fun ones to work with. Oh, oh thank yay. you. You are. You know. You just understand the issues. You articulate well. You have the right values. I've just loved working with you. I'm so sorry to see you go. Yeah. And I'm, I hope to show up I, to you. I, I, I almost told her congratulations I, on this. I, 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 like, no. I expect to interact with you in some form in some future moment, not too far yeah. distant. And I hope to show up to your party, whatever it is. Can I get your grand party? Yeah. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Are we, are we having a goodbye party yeah, for you? The, um, a little reception. Uh, get out the, of your reception. When's the goodbye party? Uh, that apparently only Darren was invited to. <laughs> <laughs> only people who read their emails are invited to it, apparently. <laughs> so that's not a Facebook event for it. I don't know. I got.